Uh, first up, we've got Velocity by Athla, uh, and presenting is Mike Gillum. Remember back to the days of the big game. Remember how much it mattered, how fast you could run, how hard you could throw the ball, or just how good you might be at the game? Imagine if the technology that could tell you all those answers, the same that the pros used, was available, and you could have had it right in your own backyard. Introducing Velocity by Athla, a breakthrough hands-free speed radar for sports. Velocity transforms your mobile device into the equivalent of a $1,200 speed radar, yet it costs less than a baseball. So let's see it in action. <clears throat> We're here outside of TechCrunch across over at AT&T Stadium. We've got two Travel Little League teams along with us. We've also got Velocity set up as a camera, and we're running Velocity here on the iPad uh, to demonstrate how Velocity can track the speed of these baseball pitches. Uh, let's see what you guys got. Look at that, 58 miles an hour. Velocity does this by scanning the field of view 30 times per second. This results in a plus or minus 0.7 uh, miles an hour accuracy as compared to the Stalker Pro 2 radar gun. This is a $1,200 radar gun used by more than 30 professional baseball teams. Look at that, another 53 miles per hour. There you've got Velocity by Athla. Back to you, Mike. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> Velocity is available for five different sports, baseball, softball, soccer, tennis, cricket, and you can place velocity on a field or a court or a rink or just in your backyard at home. And there's a lot of different users that have reasons to love velocity. Parents like it because it can make their watching their kids' games more interesting. They can place an iPhone onto the field or the court, and the speeds can be reflected up into the stands onto multiple different devices. Essentially, we can take almost any community game and bring the stadium experience home. Recreational athletes have something to love. So this is Golden Gate Park, and that kid on the left in white discovered that he could throw 78 mile per hour pitches. Those pitches were 10 miles faster, miles per hour faster than the pitcher on the team, and he had no idea he had such a great arm. Velocity helps you discover natural talent that you didn't even know that you had. Aspirational athletes have reasons to love it because they can measure objective improvement mile per hour by mile per hour when they practice, even when a coach isn't available. And those speeds, they can be shared with your friends or you can share them with the entire team across the entire season, which is why coaches can love Velocity because they can discover not only that kid who's growing out of his shoes, but also growing into a mean fastball. Speeds can be shared worldwide, which is why scouts can love Velocity as well, because no matter how remote the town, no matter how far away the country, kids with talent can be found. Kids with talent can be discovered, and this could change scouting forever. Every international sports legend began as a local hero and Velocity helps you discover that natural athlete inside. So this is a big opportunity. There's been an extraordinary success in the tracking industry, tracking area, and yet what we've been able to do on our phones without additional hardware has largely been confined to just three sports, walking, running, and biking. And yet Velocity opens up the doors to 11 different sports played by almost one and a half billion players. Whereas before we were only able to measure mo movement, now we're actually able to measure performance. Our go-to-market strategy focuses around three points. One is we've been talking with companies like Sport Engine, which are team management software companies. They connect to over 80,000 teams worldwide. Now these teams can measure speeds as well as all the other metrics that they're collecting. We're also talking to Home Team Marketing, which collects big corporate sponsors to over 10,000 different high schools. Now a company like Nike, instead of just putting posters up in a school, can actually sponsor an app and gain a daily digital touch point with that athlete. 
And our dream would be to couple, would be to work with uh, sports equipment manufacturers like a Wilson, so that every single tennis racket velocity would be included, or baseball, or soccer ball. Our current revenue model is focused on direct sales of the app, but tomorrow it focuses on connecting players to players, players to trainers, and players to training tools. There is talent out there waiting to be discovered and led to greatness. Our only ask today to the VCs and the companies is download the app, tell us your stories, and help connect us to the Nikes and the Wilsons out there who can help us bring something to kids that we would have loved having, having growing up. So this is Velocity by Athla, and it kind of makes me want to be a kid again. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Judges. Um, <clears throat> I love seeing like the ways that you can innovate on it. The, the technological capabilities of a, of a mobile device, and like you said, the sampling at, I guess, what, 30, just basically taking advantage of 30 frames per second. Could you make it more accurate if you're using, say, an iPhone's uh, ability to do, I think it's up to 120 frames a second? Does that give yes, you more accuracy? Yes, yes, exactly. So this, is, this was the idea, was when we had began this project, it was to do something that was kind of impossible and ride Moore's, Moore's Law so that it would become possible. And in fact, the first hardware that we did this on, it was not, it was not capable. And, uh, and only recently has the hardware caught up. And so getting to 120 frames per second is actually a GPU-bound uh, process. And, and I'm thinking we'll be able to accomplish it with the next iPhone coming out. So just really quick question on the software side then. What's to keep the companies that sell the $1,200 product from developing their own software? How defensible or how, how unique is what you've done? And how hard is it for this company that already sells probably thousands of devices at $1,200 a pop, how hard is it for them to keep them from developing the same capability? Yeah, yeah, so all those are Doppler-based technologies, and so they would actually have to build up an entire image recognition, you know, sort of specialty uh, in, order to, in order to tackle that. And uh, it was, uh, I'll, I'll just say it was definitely hard, and it was uh, definitely expensive. It took about two years of R&D to get, get where we are, and, uh, um, but th that would be the task ahead of them. Congratulations, no, it certainly is exciting to see it. Um, question for you, how big do you think this market is and can be? Uh, so I like to measure it you know, based on, uh, you know, there are half a billion high school players out there today, and one out of three of them play one of these sports that we're, that we're targeting. And, uh, and essentially, uh, uh, it's one out of six over, overseas. And so it, essentially, it's, a, it, it's, un, it's an unexplored market. And then putting a, we haven't yet put dollars around that, um, but the idea is to essentially ride, you know, ride Moore's Law and, and roll out new functionality that kind of steps into that space, essentially taking, you know, you've seen companies like Sports Vision, which do this for professional sports, and we view this as commoditizing this and bringing it to consumer devices as, as these consumer devices become more powerful, whether it's glass or pebble or watches or whatever that case may be. So, yeah. so just to follow up. Um, yeah. This is obviously one piece of the potential youth market, if you will. Are there other areas that you think you can do adjacencies to really capture even more of their hearts and minds and be more useful? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what's great is that, it, you know, we get a doubling of the power on these GPUs and that every time it doubles, we suddenly have a lot more computation to do more interesting things. So, you know, we've been looking at uh, Athla Jump for BMX racers and skateboarders, so these, this whole suite of sports. Uh, Athla Swim for people who are swimming. Now we can just watch them do their laps and keep track of their speeds. Athla Auto, you can just set it out in front and watch the cars go by and know how fast the cars are in your neighborhood. But of course, uh, that's, that's sort of just the beginning because once you start adding 3D cameras to these, we can actually start to watch motion and there's a, a ton of opportunity that opens up. So, yeah. Yeah. so can I come back to the market sizing yeah, question? Sure. Uh, by the way, that's the pretty cool stuff. Um, Thank you. So soccer, I'm assuming, is like the biggest um, component of that. So how does this help me become a better soccer player? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's funny because as a, as a young man, I remember going out to the field with a soccer ball and I, I was taking over the center defensive position for a guy who could kick the ball halfway down the field, even past the half. And I remember going out to the field and kicking it uh, to, to work on that and, uh, and kicking the ball far and then having to chase it and then bring it back and sitting it down and kicking it again. And I thought, this is not going to be very productive. So I went in front of the net and I kicked it into the net. And, uh, and then I thought, well, that was pretty hard. And then I kicked it again, and it was, again, it was hard. But I had no objective measurement. And after doing this about five or 10 times, I realized I have no way of measuring this. And, uh, and so I kind of, kind of went home. 
And, uh, and that kind of stuck in my head. And so for this, uh, penalty kicks, you know, Beckham's fastest kick, 103 miles per hour, uh, you can start to see how you gauge across those and what techniques matter. So yeah, different sports, it's different things. So, so I get that. So the, yeah, yeah. The, quali or the quantitative aspect of telling me if I suck or not. Um, <laughs> so I suck, right? right. right. So yeah, yeah. how does it make me better? How does it help me to get better? Yeah, where's, yeah. The, where's the insight that comes from? Yeah. Yeah. So when I was playing uh, tennis, I mean, I think it boils down to the technique. So I remember, you know, working on my serve and just adding a little snap in the wrist actually added four miles per hour to the to the serve that I was that I was giving. And so it ends up being little tiny tweaks. In fact, so most do you offer those tips in yeah. app or like how does that work? Yeah. So we're currently looking to partner. There are some great like well-regarded coaches that can tell kids how to improve their technique technique safely. So I'm, I'm a, as a as training, I'm an emergency physician, so I care, you know, kind of about the health aspects, about people and how they how they exercise, and uh, um, and so we're actually the goal is to couple with people who have training and have you know are kind of well-regarded experts in that area. So yeah, as opposed okay. to us ourselves, if that. If that Thanks. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks. So you're going to make highly competitive parents even more competitive. I'm worried children. about that. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm worried. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I'm curious about who your primary market is. Are you, are you thinking about this as, um, as being something you do market to parents, do you market to coaches first, or is it something that you assume that an eight-year-old kid, a 10-year-old kid is going to want to have this themselves? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> so the one way I looked at it is it's the video gamifying of sports. You know, we have this sort of competition now where kids are kind of caught in the living rooms and, and, and sort of that feedback loop of, of learning, of getting better, and having a higher score is, you know, just kind of pulls kids in. And I thought, what if we could bring that sort of same sort of gamified experience, but, but your score now is actual physical achievement, you know, something that you've actually physically achieved that you can be proud of as opposed to a video score. And so, so at least right now, the, the core market is the, is the kids, and, the, and, they, and to give them that sort of self-esteem and that, that sort of sense of, I accomplished something real, and, it, and I can do it, and I can show my friends, and it's... And it, and it matters, you know, something, something along those lines. So, yeah. All right, so we're out of time. Great job. That was Velocity by Atla. Thanks so much. All right.